By far, this is my favorite link shortener. It's called Premium URL Shortener. And if you've watched my past 100 videos, the links that are shortened are used with this system. This is a PHP script, so that means that you load it into your server and you're not going to pay month to month to anyone because you own this. Let's go check it out so you can see how it actually works. This is the premium URL shortener that I'm talking about. You can grab it right now and I will be leaving the link in the description. It's only $45 for this PHP script. That means that you buy this and they provide you the files so you can load them in your server. You're not going to pay with them month to month because you are paying for the script and the updates will be included. And if you want to further develop this system, that is possible also because you have the files or if you just want to update their updates, that is possible. Now there's a $45 deal going on right now. That price is as, as of this video, so it might change in the future. And they also sell a, an, an extended license. If you want to use this as a SaaS, if you want to sell plans, then you want to get the extended license because that's going to unlock that feature. That means that you're able to create plans and sell it with other payment gateways like Stripe, PayPal, and many more. Now, premium URL shortener, primary base of this is shortening links. So if there's long links, you want to shorten them because they look nicer, plus they have your own domain. Now, there's, there's also a bio link feature included in this. There's a QR code included in this, and there's a lot of things that you can do with it. Now, there's a little information here of the extended license that you might want to check it out. But like I said, the subscription module is open in the extended. But if you want to use this for yourself and you want to shorten links for yourself and add custom domains just for yourself, then you're good with the regular license. No need for extended. Now, I just did a fresh install of this premium URL shortener, and this is how the landing page is going to look. I haven't done anything. I haven't customized anything. I haven't added logos, no branding information. So this is how it's going to load. Now you're going to see that there's no branding on this. There's no premium URL shortener mentioned in the front page or the user's side. So that's pretty good, right? So it's a really good looking page that we can customize if we like or change it also. But we have all this feature, features where a user can get registered. For example, it has a registration system for this and they can also log in to their panel. So let me log into my account right here. There we go. And this is my panel right now. It's a clean panel. It's brand new. And you're going to get a lot of features with premium URL shortener. Now, before I get, get into the client's section or the, the, I would say the final user, I want to show you the admin panel. This is where all the setup is going to get. I'll get into this in a bit. Let's go into the admin panel by clicking here. And this is where you're going to set up all the systems information here. So for example, I would get started in the settings section. So general settings, and this is where we're going to set up the general settings for the main page. So for example, the site title, in this case, it's minimize link. That's the name of this site that I'm going to create. And again, if you guys want to register to this site, I will be leaving description open. The site description, site keywords for SEO purposes, the logo, the fav icon, the time zone, and all of this, we, we, we would set it up so it updates the main page. So let me update this really quickly. And if we add links to the social media here, it's going to add those little icons on the main page. There's also the application settings for this. So for example, if you want to add a homepage redirect, we would add it right here. If your site is going to be in maintenance, so if no one's going to register or something like that, you would set it up here. If it's going to be a private service, so if you're going to add this just for yourself and no registering is going to be available, you can enable that. If you are going to use a blog module, which would you, you would add the blogs right here on the left. If you don't want to use that, you could disable it or keep it on contact page, so on and so forth. It gives us the option to add or remove features with this developer API. If you want to enable that, the sharing, update notifications, etc. Whatever you want to use, just update it. Link settings for this. For example, the default redirection, none. If you want to add one, that is possible. The splash page timer, shorten alias length. So for example, when someone shortens a link, they can add a spatial alias to it. So let's just say that um, it can't be less than five. I would suggest three, but if you want to add five, four, two, that's up to you. The allowed schemes, so you can add those or remove them. These would be the most popular ones. Um, if you want to add something else, that is possible. And again, more settings for this advanced settings 
So shorten my links with minimize link. If you want to enable that, multiple domain names. So if you want to allow domains with that, you can allow it. The server IP for the C name, the Google Analytics account. Um, DeepL API, that's available if you want to translate this theme. Well, yeah, it is a theme. You can save that. Let's go save this. Theme settings, anonymous user history, public URL list, stats, security settings. We could check these out. If you want to blacklist URLs because you want to avoid certain URLs to be shortened and used, blacklisted domains. If you know of, of domains that are blacklisted, you can add them there. And other APIs that we can integrate with, like Google Web Risk, Fish Tank username, Fish Tank, Virus Total, etc. And if you want to add CAPTCHA, this is a really good idea to add CAPTCHA. Obviously, you have to grab the API key from Google if you plan to use reCAPTCHA. All right. And membership settings. Um, in this case, if you have the SaaS module, then you want to enable this and you want to set the currency for this. Premium aliases, sales API integration if you want to integrate with the sales the invoice header and footer, payment gateways. So these are the payment gateways that they have available right now. PayPal basic checkout, and, and that's my purchase key, which I'll try to eliminate. User settings, user registration. If you don't want to allow them to register, remove that. User activation, if enabled, an email containing an activation link will be sent to the user. Be aware that if you enable this, you will need to set up your SMTP settings so it sends out that email where they can accept the registration. Require registration, account deletion, login with Facebook. If you want to allow Facebook, Twitter, and Google, you will need the API keys to have that enabled. The mail settings, like I mentioned, set this up if you plan to use a registration with the settings with those. Integrations, this is available. Slack integration, that's available there. And there's a whole lot of more settings that you can set up. There's go, for example, the dashboard. We're going to be able to view all the information from the general use of your system. If you have clients or users or team members, we're going to be able to hear the total links, total users, the new links, the top links in general, the users that, that have subscribed, the subscriptions, the payments, the reported links, and all of that good stuff. For links, again, we're able to view all the links here that links have been created. Remember, you are the admin and you're able to view all of this. We can search through these with the filter. Expire links, archive links, anonymous, and view all of that. The users available here. If you want to add manually a user, we're able to do it through here. If you want to view all the users, inactive users, the banned users, admin and testimonials available there. Memberships, this is where we're going to create our plans if we plan to use this as a SaaS. So this is where we're going to create it. For example, we can add a name for this plan. I can say, I don't know, pro. You can add a description to it icon um, there's icons available that you can select here um, i'll just select that just for testing purposes the pricings for this plan for example if there's going to be a trial period for this i could set a seven day trial the pricing for the monthly price for this for example i don't know 10.99 the yearly price would be like 109 the lifetime if you want to sell this on lifetime also that's available there the plan features for example the number of links that you want to allow if you put zero, it's going to be unlimited, all right? So if I add zero, that's going to be unlimited. Unlimited clicks, data retention, I'll say, I don't know, 365 days. Custom text, if you want to add that there. And this is where we have other features that we want to enable or disable depending on the plan. So if it's a free plan, you want to keep it limited. If you want to have a paid plan, you can have that. A lot of things enabled, like team features, custom profiles, custom domains. So the, they can add their own custom domains. So for example, I could say 10 or unlimited custom QRs, etc. I can add this plan and now it's been added. Now, like I said, if you have the extended license with the SaaS feature, we're able to take advantage of this system to make a lot of money. There's the bio pages section, same as the links, we're able to view them here. QR codes that have been created. The blog post, if you want to add a new blog, you can do it through here. So if I want to add a post, I can do it through here. The pages, so these are, oh, I click, my bad. All the pages are going to be available here, but if you want to add pages, do it here. Uh, recommendation for the pages, for example, your copyright, no, not the copyright, the terms and conditions, then the privacy policy, and other pages that you want to add. Domains, for example, the domains that you want to make available to your clients, you can add them here, or unless they add them over there on their own account. 
verifications, there's a verification little check mark that we can create. They will ask for the verification and we can accept it here. Frequently asked questions that you can see on the main page, we can um, customize them here. Affiliates, advertisement, if you want to add some advertisement. So if you're offering a free plan, maybe you want to do some advertising there if it's on the free plan. The theme settings, for example, the theme is going to be right here. I can add another child theme if I want to customize this. The settings for this particular theme. So if you want, if you want to go with dark mode, blue it, white sky, more information here like home main header, description, menu links, and all of those, that's possible. The editor and custom CSS if you really want to fine tune this. Languages, if you want to add some custom languages and translations to this, you can do it through here, which makes it really practical. And if you integrate with Deepl API, we're able to do this automatically, all right? The plugins, you can view all these plugins that they have available. You can see view all, there we go. And these are available, some are free and some cost. Block search engines, we can install this. That would be a good use case if you plan to use this privately and you don't want the search engines to register it. The SMS via Twilio, that's a purchase plugin. Registration webhook, that's free. You can just go ahead and install it. Coin payment, if you want to offer that. Block emails, whitelist domains, bad IP address addresses. Crypto.com, if you want to offer crypto for the payment, you can enable that. Google Safe Browsing and Block Countries. So most are free, just these two are paid plugins. So all those are available. The settings, we already checked them out. There's the tools and emails. So for example, all the tools here. We can remove anonymous links, export links, and a lot of things that you might want to check out with Calm. Cron job, depending if you want to do data retention, you want to set up the cron job. What is that cron job? You can set that up on your BPS server panel. This cron job would be to enable the expiration. Remember, we set a re retention date for 365 days, I think I remember. Well, this is going to be needed to work, okay? If you want to use other like virus total, blacklist, fish tank, enable this also. And updates are available right here. This is one of my favorite features because when an update comes, you're gonna get a little notification and you can update through here. No file uploading, no manual work is needed. All you have to do is update it through here. Recommendation, backup before you update. That's, uh, that's the recommendation I would highly recommend, okay? So that's for the admin panel. You could go through these and a lot of features are going to be added as days come. Let's go to the dashboard. Now this is the dashboard where users are going to log in and actually view. So this is where they're going to view and shorten links. So right now, if I want to shorten a link, I'll shorten my domain. I can go into the extra features right here. I'm gonna add a custom alias and I'll say SAS master. And the domain is going to be this one. If I have more domains added, I would view them right here, okay? So redirect, is it gonna be direct, frame, or splash? Is this going to have an expiration, a description? If I wanna add meta tags, geo-targeting, device targeting, language targeting, pixels, parameters, etc., all that is available. So I've just shortened this link. Let me go into incognito mode, open it up, and boom, it redirects me to my homepage where I've set the link to. So just like that, let me refresh this really quickly. There we go, now we got one link, clicks, and this is where it's been clicked. We get all that information. The bio pages, if I want to create a bio page, I do it through here, and you have all these options available. So we're able to view a preview of how it's going to look, and we're gonna add links and content here. So you have these options available. We have social links, appearance, advanced section and all that good stuff. And we're going to be able to view it there. If you want to create QR codes, we do it through here also. So here's a QR code generator and we have all these options available for this. The statistics, we're gonna be able to view a more in-depth statistics of the links that are clicked. So in this case, we view a map. My channels, if I want to create a channel, I do it through here, all right? and link management, if I want to view previous links, if I want to search through it, if I want to find the, uh, an old link that I've created, if I want to update a link, I do it through here. So a specific statistics link for each link, we do it here. Edit this link, archive it, set public, export statistics, reset stats, delete, etc. Archive links, expired links, campaigns, if you want to create campaigns, custom splash, call to action, overlays, tracking pixels. So we add all our pixels right here that we want to add. All of these are available, so we can add them to our links. 
If I want to add, for example, branded domains. So if I want to add a domain, I do it through here and it's letting me know the settings here. I need to set that up on my admin panel. So I let them know how to actually do it, all right? The team members. So if you enable the team members, we're able to add them here and they'll be able to log into this account. Tools and integrations, Zapier, WordPress, Shortcuts, Tools, Developer API. And again, some of the features that we're viewing here on the end side user, these can be enabled or disabled from the admin panel. And all of that is available with this premium URL shortener. Now tell me that isn't a good system. Like I said, I use it, I recommend it, and I do like it. And if you wanna grab the link, the link will be provided in the description. So go check it out right now.